what are well formed formulas all right let's see what makes them rules for generating well formed formula rule 1 a statement variable standing alone is a well formed formula rule 2 If a is a well formed formula then negation a is a well formed formula too Rule 3 here are some examples of well formed formulas Stop that was too hard okay i'll give the main idea a string of symbols containing variables connectives and proper use of parentheses is a well formed formula still nothing okay we'll take an example consider the formula it is a well formed formula because of the proper use of parentheses On the other hand this is not a well formed formula because and connective is supposed to be used among two variables That was easy what is tautology Hey yo I am Draco they call me the logical draco Well the question is raised tautology A human once taught me the concept So here's what I learned A statement always has two truth values it is either true or false whenever the truth value of a statement is true it's tautology and when it's false it's contradiction and when you are confused whether it's true or false the statement is contingency now that you have learned about types of statements let's talk about tautology of statement formula before that what is statement formula a statement without connectives is an atomic statement Now that you know about statement formula and have a little idea about tautology let's see what tautology is Let's take an example here p or negation p if p is replaced by any other multivariable statement the value still remains to be true that's tautology Take this example it's difficult but here p is replaced by a or b and c conditional d don't worry even if you solve it the answer is still true that's tautology this takes us to a new concept substitution instance let's define it if a variable in b is replaced by a well formed formula a then it is called substitution instance Let's illustrate this concept. So, remember every substitution instance of tautology is a tautology. It's example time. show whether the statement formula is tautology contradiction or contingency take the first statement first we'll apply the negation to the bracket and according to the de morgan's law the first statement gets modified to the following now we can see double negation which gets cancelled and the modified formula becomes this to bring negation p and p together to apply complement law we apply associative law after that statement get reduced to this now applying complement law we get the following statement lastly by dominant law we get the truth value false which makes the statement contradiction now travel from bottom to the top the result obtained was false because of the dominant law in the second last step the value false came due to the formula negation p and p in the earlier step which makes negation p and p substitution instance this proves that the statement is contradiction let's take another example if we apply contrapositive law on the entire statement we get the following result and now apply contrapositive law again only on q conditional p we get the following result now on applying associative law the above statements gets reduced to this now apply complement law we get the following result and now apply dominant law finally we get the value 2 now travel from bottom to the top the result obtained was 
because of the dominant law in the second last step the value true came due to the formula negation p or p in the earlier step which makes negation p or p substitution instance this proves that the statement is tautology that's all folks thank you